from Dia from Copacabana Beach, baby. We finally made it to our 13th country of Brazil. After what's probably the longest travel day ever, clocking in at over 45 hours just to come from Peru. We have been sleeping for the past three days just to make up for that travel day, but today we are finally exploring some of the beautiful beaches here in Rio de Janeiro. But this isn't what it actually looks like. It's the 1st of October, which is transitioning from winter into spring, thus the crazy weather. This red flag behind me means no swimming right now. It's just too crazy. The white caps are too large to be in the water right now. If you wanted to avoid this altogether, the best time of year to come is November to February, which is their summer season here. And the storm clouds are nuts back here, even though the weather is predicting only about 0.1 inch of rain today but it feels like a hurricane is coming on right now <laughs> Along the Copacabana boardwalk, it's a very active community. There's people running every day, biking, and there's even some circuit training here and there. Also, we are on what looks like a volleyball court, but it's used mostly for a game called foot volley, which was invented right here in the 1960s. It's basically volleyball with the rules of soccer, so just no hands. And on top of the volleyball courts, there's a ton of little soccer fields where it looks like people are just playing pickup games. This gorgeous building behind me is the Copacabana Palace, and when it was built in 1923, it really established Copacabana Beach as the place to be. It has had such guests as Walt Disney, Marilyn Monroe, Michael Jackson, and even Princess Diana has stayed here. It is beautiful. These tower markers can be found all along the beach, and once you get to number two, that is technically the start of Copacabana Beach. Even though it's one long boardwalk and one long strip of sand, it is broken up into two beaches. And where we're staying is Leme Beach, and now we are entering into Copacabana. down the boardwalk you'll find these little kiosks serving food and when we first saw them we thought it was just snacks and drinks but it's like a full restaurant with alcohol and seating out on the beach so we're gonna stop at deck zero nove which means deck zero nine for some lunch because I am famished Oh no. my gosh, you just hold it like this? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. What are we saying? Thank you. <laughs> That's not cheers at all. <laughs> it's just the only word we know how to say. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here with me today. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I think we're supposed to pour it in here. I love it, it comes in a tiny glass so it stays cold. Like the more you pour, it's cold. That's so smart, you're Instead right. Instead of like the big mugs that you get in like German restaurants. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my God, it got so many fries. <laughs> okay, we got mixed grilled meat. I don't, it looks like sugar, doesn't it? It's like brown sugar, yeah. And it's like a bucket of french fries. The wind is freaking crazy. 
crazy right now. This boardwalk is iconic to Copacabana. It's four kilometers long and was built in the early 1900s in the complete style of Portuguese tile work. It's gorgeous and you can see it from every hotel room around. Oh my God. It's so cold. This is not at all the day we had in mind when we were coming to Copacabana. But today has just been wind, wind, and more wind. It's literally cold. And we thought when we were coming to Brazil, we'd finally be warm again, but it looks like that's on hold just a little bit longer. This is what we actually expected. The weather is perfect. It's 80 degrees, the water is blue, although it is freezing, and there are tons of people out today, and there's not a cloud in the sky. It's not uh, looking too promising. No, it's not. We were planning on heading to Arpo Ador and Ipenema Beach to watch sunset tonight, but A, I don't think there's going to be a sunset, and B, I'm already freezing. It's gonna get colder. Well, we are used to learning a different currency everywhere we go. Luckily, the reel is really easy to convert. You just divide by five. We also have to learn a completely new language. They speak Portuguese here in Brazil, and we've only been speaking English and Spanish for over a year now. It has been a hard learning curve for us. to sit for a little bit before heading back up because they have these small little kiosks and our hotel has complimentary service where we can get free towels and chairs and umbrellas out here but they're gone <laughs> they usually are right there but they are even packing up because no one's out here it's too windy just not worth it for anybody to be out here right now so it turns out when the weather is nice, they're actually here and in full force. It's only five reels for a chair and 15 reels for an umbrella, which is incredibly affordable. Luckily though, our hotel included it in the price, so we get to hang out here for the day. hope you enjoyed seeing Copacabana. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to stamp your passports with a skin, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully tomorrow will be a Feels like hurricane coverage. It's <laughs> coming at you live from Copacabana Beach. The wind mileage hours! I don't know what I'm saying! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that puppy. So cute. Ready? It's been recording for 40 seconds. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. I have to go through all this. Okay, remember. love you! Thanks, babe, you're doing a great job. And then Copacabana starts at these mile markers too. Let's start over. Okay, great. Thank you. Let's stuff with thumbnails. <laughs>